can't believe I'm already making this video. It <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Chloe. So what are we doing today? Today, I'm just gonna bring you guys along with me to get ready for the day while I tell you where I'm gonna be for the next month. Let's just jump right in and get started. Starting off with my Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer in the shade 120 Light Vanilla. Yes, this concealer is still my favorite. That is why I won't stop using it. Okay, where am I going? Why will I be gone? I will be backpacking through Europe for the whole month of May. I can't believe like I haven't mentioned this before. I definitely meant to mention it earlier. I just, you know, I'm not thinking of it when I'm filming, so I've just never mentioned it. Oh yeah, that's right. God, just another thing to add to my to-do list. My to-do list is so long and I have a few days. Stop. Oh my God, another thing I need to get. I literally have so much to do before I leave. Dress level extreme, y'all. I'm gonna go in with my Milani eyeshadow primer. So I leave on May 1st, which will be the day that you're watching this, which is literally less than a week away. I'm gonna take my Morphe 35T palette. I'm gonna go in with this shade here as my transition shade. Just taking this in my crease. I booked the trip forever ago. I believe I booked it in November, but I literally cannot believe that it's here. And originally, I was supposed to leave April 23rd. That was the original date I had signed up for, but that one had to be canceled. And then luckily, I was able to just push it out to the May trip. I am going to take this cool dark shade here for my outer corner. So I'm going alone, but not alone. I signed up alone. I booked through a company that is for, what is it, ages like 18 to 28, I think? Something like that. I did a lot of research on all the different companies out there that are like this. There are a good few. If you have been wanting to travel and you don't have anybody to go with, Honestly, just look at a company. There are a few different company options out there. They kind of have different things going on for them. They are all fairly the same. Highly recommend. None of my friends could travel with me. I didn't want to wait any longer. And the pandemic has taught us all that we do not have time to waste. So I'm not wasting any more time. I ended up going with this company called EF Ultimate Break. Not an ad. There are other companies out there. I'm not saying you should choose this company over others. I chose them because they are not as much of a like party group. I heard from one of the other companies that they were very like party focused. And that's not why I'm going on these trips. So, but besides that, EF offered the amount of time I wanted to be gone for and the type of trip I wanted to be gone for. Once you're in Europe, it's so cheap to travel throughout it. Not so cheap, but it's way cheaper than, you know, constantly flying overseas. So I figured, why not just do one big whole trip, see all of the places I want to see for just a couple of days, and then I can go back to the ones that I liked the most. I'm going to cut my crease. So I am doing 30 days. So by the time this video goes live, I will be traveling to London first. I'm gonna go in with this shimmer shade here. From London, I will go to Paris, Paris to Amsterdam. Then I will leave it central Germany, which is Munich. And then it's Italy, so it's Florence, Rome, and Venice. I have literally no idea what order that's in. And then I will be going to the south of France. I believe it's Monaco. Don't quote me, guys. Honestly, they do everything for you. They figure everything out for you. They make a complete itinerary, your flights, your hostels, hotels, literally everything. The only thing you have to worry about yourself when you're there is food. That's it. So I've not even looked at anything. I'm just showing up and going. That's what I'm doing. 
And then from there, it will be Spain. So it'll be Madrid and Barcelona. And I will fly home from Spain at the very end of May. So here is everywhere that I will be going. Oh, I miss Switzerland. Duh, one of the places I'm most excited for. Add Switzerland to the list. My inner corner needs to be a lot brighter. I'm just going to tap it with concealer. Just want my inner corners to be bright here. I'm putting concealer underneath. Just helps brighten the shade. Nails are so long, I'm stabbing myself. Taking my Morphe Jeffree Star palette and mixing these two. I've been loving this combination. The silver keeps it bright, but the gold keeps it warm. All right, going to brows, I'm gonna take my NYX Thicket Stick It in Auburn. Well, what I'm so like stressed and overwhelmed about is freaking packing. I've never been backpacking. No, I don't get it. I don't know how these people do it. I'm so stressed about it. I'm a classic overpacker. Like, it's good for me. Just, let me just show you what I'm gonna bring. This is what I'm bringing. <laughs> going over that with my Revitalash brow gel. And I'm gonna bring a tiny backpack, just like an everyday backpack. And that's going to have I mean, just a few things, nothing crazy. I'm gonna use my NYX highlighting stick in Chardonnay Shimmer. But I recently found out that I could totally bring more than that. I thought it was like backpack or die. I don't know, I think it's gonna be easier to just bring a backpack. I'm gonna go over top that with my Mary Luminizer. I think traveling in a backpack is going to change the way I travel though, so I am excited to try it. I would love to be more of a minimalist. <laughs> Let's get a move on with it. Is it rude to do an English accent to an English person? Somebody let me know before I go. Cause I do that shit all the time. What blush would be better? I have Tahiti or Bahamas. Bahamas is very orange. I have orange in the look. Is it too much orange if I go Bahamas? Oh, of course, the e.l.f. putty blush in the Bahamas. Although I love them all, if you haven't seen me trying them all out, click up here and watch it. So while I'm there, since everything is gonna be so fast paced and I don't have a lot of room, I won't be able to bring my stuff with me to continue filming. And also, I honestly just want to fully focus on enjoying the trip. I'm just taking my CoverGirl brown liner here, taking it on my outer corner lash line. I will definitely try posting on Instagram a little bit more often though. I know if you follow me now on Instagram, I like never post. I'm really bad at social media, you guys. I just think it is very toxic and I don't know. I'm just a little bit more of a private person, I suppose. But I will definitely, while I'm gone, try and be posting a little bit more. I'm gonna go in and curl my lashes. And I'm going in with my Maybelline Colossal Mascara. Sometimes I feel like I say mascara weird. Mascara, mascara. And unfortunately, I can't even bring that much makeup with me because I don't have room. But I honestly don't believe that I'm even gonna wanna be spending that much time on my makeup while I'm there if I really wear much at all. I'm gonna need to sleep for like three days when I get home. I'm gonna take my NYX lip pencil in natural. Then taking my e.l.f. lip tint in Coral Cutie. I actually like that. It browns the lip liner out just enough. Is it too much orange? It is a lot of orange, but I'm kind of enjoying it. The amount of stuff I even have on my desk is crazy. Just full of stuff I have to take. All right, completed look here. Kind of bittersweet. I can't imagine not doing this for a month. The longest I've gone since I've started was one week, I think. And I didn't like that. That felt weird. Man, a month off feels crazy. And I know that the next month is going to just like absolutely fly by. Like it is gonna go so quickly. If you guys are interested at all to see everything that I did pack in here, let me know. And when I get back, I can show you guys everything I've got. It's so big, it's so heavy. And this, this ain't even fully packed. This doesn't have shoes, nothing. I wanna die. 
And if you are interested in keeping up with me and where I'm at, you can go follow me on Instagram, which I will have linked down below. Make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already and leave me a like because it really helps me out. I'm like sad. I'm like sad. I don't want to say this. I don't want to say the next part. Why am I such a sap? I'll see you guys in the next one in one month.